मिसेलिनस एक्सरसाइज थ्री फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन देर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज ट्वाइस को साइन पाई बाई थर्टीन इन टू को साइन नाइन पाई बाई थर्टीन प्लस कोस थ्री पाई बाई थर्टीन प्लस को साइन फाइव पाई बाई थर्टीन यू वॉन्ट टू शो दैट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज जीरो दिस इज आर एच एस राइट इन साइड आर एच एस इज जीरो दैट इज वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू प्रूव सो यू मस्ट हैव रियलाइज इन द फर्स्ट टर्म यू हैव टू सी सी फॉर्मूला यू नो सी प्लस सी इज टू सी सी we are given this so we are going to write this so instead of 2 cc you are going to write c plus c so cosine this plus this pi by 13 plus 9 pi by 13 plus cosine this minus this pi by 13 minus 9 pi by 13 this is factor formula this term and this term this two we keep as it is So plus cosine three pi by thirteen as it is, plus cosine pi pi by thirteen as it is. Now we just simplify this. What is this? You know, this is equals to cosine ten pi by thirteen plus this is cosine. Minus eight pi by thirteen, but cos is an even function, so I'm just writing eight pi by thirteen. This two as it is, cosine three pi by thirteen right now, cosine five pi by thirteen as it is. Now, if you notice, remember in this step I've used this concept, cos of minus x equals to cos x. That directly I've used here, remember, because when you simplify this, you will get the minus. But that inner minus has no effect for cos function, so we are getting this. Okay. Now, if you notice these four angles, ten pi by thirteen, three pi by thirteen, so total is thirteen. Eight pi by thirteen, five pi by thirteen, so total is again thirteen here. So what we do, we reduce this angle into this one. So I can write like this here, cosine. Instead of this, I can write pi minus three pi by thirteen. You just take LCM, you will get exactly this one. So it is in this form. Plus cosine eight pi and five pi. That's a thirteen pi. So I can reduce this one into this angle, pi minus five pi by thirteen. Plus. This term as it is here. This term as it is here. We are just going to copy this. What I did, I've reduced this big bigger angle into smaller one. You know this 10 pi. You can write like this 13 pi minus 3 pi, and then do individual division. So 13 upon 13 that is pi, and 13 pi by 13. Why is in this form? Because I have 3 pi. Same way. This eight pi you can write as thirteen pi minus five pi, and then individual division. Okay, now use the concept of the quadrant pi minus something. Pi is here. Minus something means you know second quadrant. In the second quadrant, cos is negative, so minus cos three pi by thirteen. Pi minus something. Again, second quadrant. In the second quadrant, cos is negative. The minus cos five pi by thirteen plus third term as it is, cos three pi by thirteen plus cos five pi by thirteen. So this will get cancelled. This will get cancelled. So we'll get the zero, which is our edges. Question number two. Second question there. Left hand side is that the LHS is left hand side is sine three x plus sine x 
into sin x plus cosine 3x minus cos x into cos x. You want to show that the value of this is 0. So one way is you can uh, use your s plus s formula and here c minus c. Right. Let me use that or the another way you can just open the bracket whichever way you do here. Here you can use C minus C, here you can use S plus S. Let me use S plus S which is 2SC. What is C minus C? Minus 2SS. Let's use this two. If I use this two you will realize. Uh, so here twice I am writing this remember twice sign. Now when you write from plus two product you have by two in the angle remember. So 3x plus 4x, x which is 4x by 2. Here you had reverse, remember. From product, you wrote in form of plus, remember. Here you wrote in form of product. So you won't be having by 2 here. That's the difference. Over here and over here, remember. Here, from product, you express in form of plus. So you won't be having by 2, by 2. That is not there. But here you are by 2 because from addition now you are writing in form of product. Okay, into cosine this minus this which is 2x by 2 into sine x as it is. We are doing nothing with this. Plus now here c minus c which is minus. Okay, so I write here minus. So middle time sign will be minus twice sine this plus this which is 4x by 2 into sine this minus this which is 2x by 2 into cos x okay so now we just simplify this is twice sine 2x by 2 that's 2x this is cos 2x cos just x into sin x minus twice sin 2x into sin x into this cos x so you see that this term will get cancelled with this entirely so you will get equals to 0 which is RHS third question this whole square plus this whole square you are given so the obviously here you should use c plus c which is 2cc and here you should use s minus s which is 2cs so let's use this we keep that whole square as it is we are doing nothing with that square remember so whole square as it is what is c plus c 2cc twice cosine this plus this by 2 so here by 2 will come remember factor formula cosine x minus y by 2 s minus s 2 cs twice cosine this plus this here you must have y so x plus y by 2 into sine x minus y by 2 okay so now you can see that there is a 2 common so it will come as 4 because whole square is there and this is also common but it will come as a square so cos square x plus y by 2 this is outside so inside the bracket you are left with cos square x minus y by 2 and here you are left with this plus sine square x minus y by 2 now what is this inside the bracket it is cos square plus theta plus sine square theta you know it is 1 so 4 cos square x minus y by 2 into 1 so this is your RHS same way you can do fourth question question number 4 if you look at you need to use C minus C which is minus 2SS. 
and s minus s which is nothing but the 2 c s use this to you can do it question number five fifth question question number five there lhs is uh, sin x plus sin 3x plus sin 5x plus sin 7x this is left hand side if you go back to i mean sorry if you just re, uh, refer rhs to this you need the product from addition to product from plus to product so you should use factor formula which factor formula is plus s okay so uh, let's use s plus s for this too here uh, So S plus S to SC here, S plus S same to SC. So twice sign you have by 2 remember when you write into 2 you must have by 2. This plus this 4x cosine this minus this minus 2x by 2. Same formula here plus twice sign this plus this which is 12x by 2 into cosine uh, this minus this minus 2x by 2 so you see that uh, here this is twice sine 2x this will get cancelled which is just cos x twice sine 6x into cos x now here you must have noticed that this is common twice cos x you will find common so here you are left with sine 2x and here you are left with sine 6x now use s plus s again s plus s to s c use this so you will get rhs that's what your right hand side just one step for you try it Question number 6, you are given this expression, you want just 10x, 10 6x on right hand side, single function. So you must have realized here, this is just s plus s, s plus s, c plus c, c plus c. So we use this, what is s plus s? 2sc, twice sine, this plus is 12 by 2, 6x cosine this minus this 2x by 2 just x i'll drop one step here remember uh, same thing here twice sine 9 plus 3 12 by 2 6x cosine 9 minus 3 which is 6x by 2 which is 3x right what i did i've used s plus s which is 2sc and you are by 2 in the angle remember that's why 7 plus 12 by 2 so 6x same way you c plus c c plus c here twice cosine everywhere angles are same so your answer will be 6x your answer will be x c plus c 2cc answer will be 6x here cosine uh, here same 9 minus 3 6 by 2 3x right c plus c 2cc that is what you did for the denominator now what's common in the numerator you'll find twice sine 6x common inside the bracket cos x plus cos 3x what is common in the denominator twice cosine 6x common inside the bracket cos x plus cos 3x so now both brackets will get cancelled 2 2 will get cancelled sign upon cos which is tan 6x which is just RHS so this is factor formula next question question number 7 here the 7th question LHS is sin 3x plus sin 2x minus sin x 
so you need to use the factor formula here uh, let's see either you can use s plus s for this two or you can use s minus s for this two whichever way you do or you can take these and these also choice is yours so here let me um, try uh, for example let's use s plus s for this so that is twice sine this plus this which is 5x by 2 into cosine this minus this which is x by 2 minus sine x as it is what I did for first two terms I have used s plus s you could have used this to also remember now if you remember this you can express in form of half angle so I'll keep twice sine 5x by 2 as it is cosine x by 2 as it is if you remember this is twice sine x by 2 into cosine x by 2 this is a prepared formula you know here so now what is common in this two twice sine cosine x by 2 will find common this is sine 5x by 2 minus sin x by 2 so uh, here again in turn s minus s so this I leave it for you keep this one as it is use s minus s what is s minus s 2 c s use this so you will get here product of this two remember and which is your RHS so try this much just s minus s for next three questions 8 9th and 10th we are asked to find this half angles remember to find these three things to find sin x by 2 cos x by 2 and tan x by 2 so uh, you just need to recall this if you remember sine square x by 2 that is 1 minus double angle cos x by 2 cos square x by 2 that is if you remember just 1 plus cos x by 2 cos x the whole by 2 and tan is just the ratio of these two so we use this now in the 8th question you are given 10x equals to minus 4 by 3 and uh, x is in second quadrant that's given to you so we uh, if you look at this two we are going to use this whenever you are asked to find half angle always we prefer this formula as remember so we need cos function so from 10 you get cos fun function in place here that's all in all so i'll use the right angle triangle you know from the beginning tan is you know opposite upon adjacent so this is 4 by 3 so hypotenuse will be you know 5 16 plus 9 so hypotenuse will be 5 so therefore what is cosine x cosine x will be uh, you know adjacent upon hypotenuse so 3 by 5 and in the second quadrant cos is negative so you need to put minus sign right. so this minus sign is important here remember so once you do this you just place the values here so sine square x by 2 we have started with square equals to 1 minus cos x whole by 2 so this is 1 plus 3 by 5 2 so if we take LCM here 5 plus 3 8 8 by 10 so it would be just 4 by 5 sine square x by 2 is this so same way here if you start with cos square x by 2 you have plus here so it has to be 1 by 5 because sine square plus cos square is always 1 1 by 5, 4 by 5 with square. 
but remember you you want sin x by 2 so when you take the square root you have plus or minus but look at it the quadrant of x by 2 you will realize now here x is from where to where second quadrant means pi 2 sorry pi by 2 to pi this quadrant pi by 2 to pi you want x by 2 so if you do half of this pi by 4 less than x by 2 less than pi by 2 what I did just dividing this by 2 so pi by 4 x by 2 pi by 2 now you tell me this is which quadrant pi by 4 to pi by 2 pi by 4 to pi by 2 now x by 2 is in first quadrant so both will be positive so your answer will be sin x by 2 equals to 2 by root 5 not minus remember and what is cos x by 2 it is 1 by root 5 these are your answers right. remember I repeat this if you take square root here you have plus or minus 2 by root 5 plus or minus 1 by root 5 but x by 2 is pi by 4 to pi by 2 this portion which is which quadrant first quadrant they are all trigonometric functions are positive so you have plus sign and therefore tan x by 2 it is just the ratio of this 2 so what's the ratio of these two? This upon this, which is just two. So here sin x equals to one by four and x is in second quadrant. That is pi by two to pi. This is pi by two to pi. This is given to us. Okay. So you know we are going to use this sine square x by 2 equals to 1 minus cos x the whole by 2 double angle formula cos square x by 2 equals to 1 plus cos x whole by 2 so you need cos from sine so you know if sine x equals to 1 by 4 cos x has to be sine square is 1 by 16 so this is 15 by 16 but if you take the square root here so it would be root 15 by 4 and the second quadrant cos is negative so we have this so you you can use right angle triangle or uh, you can use sine square plus cos square equals to 1 sine square is 1 by 16 cos square is 15 by 16 so we'll get the one this is answer of cos from sine and minus sine because in the second quadrant cos is negative remember so this minus sign is important now you just put the values here so this is 1 plus root 15 by 4 by 2 so this is nothing but the 8 plus root 15 sorry this is 4 4 plus this root 15 by 8 and what about this here same way cos squared x by 2 here you just place the value so you'll get the 4 minus root 15 by 8 this is sine squared x by 2 this is cos squared x by 2 now we need to take the square root so just I'll make 16 here so sine square x by 2 equals to Multiply and dividing by 2. So 16, 8 plus 2 root 15. Cos square x by 2. Your 8 minus 2 root 15 by 16. Multiplying and dividing by 2. To numerator and denominator. 8 to 16. 8 to 16. Now x is from where to where? Pi by 2 to pi. You want information about x by 2. So it will be from pi by 4 to pi by 2. So first quadrant. Here you have first quadrant, remember. Now in the first quadrant, you know all trigonometric functions are positive. So sine x by 2 equals to just to take the square root. So you have 8 plus 2 root 15 by 4 
cos x by 2 equals to 8 minus 2 root 15 by 4 and then take just the ratio of these two why both are positive usually if you take the square root you must have plus or minus whereas in the first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive take the ratio of these two so i'll get the 10 x by 2 so i want to discuss now example number 29 this is left hand side we want to show that the value of this expression is 3 by 2 this is RHS so what we do when we have usually square we use this formula as we have used in previous two example double angle formula 1 plus cosine 2x the whole by 2 double of x 2x so this is equals to 1 plus cosine 2x the whole by 2 plus here also double angle 1 plus cosine double of this which is 2x plus 2 pi by 3 double of this remember formula says take double angle so 2x 2 pi by 3 the whole by 2 plus here also double angle so 1 plus cosine 2x minus 2 pi by 3 double angle the whole by 2 so you can see you have by 2 common so I'll keep 1 by 2 outside 1 1 1 so I'll write 3 here remaining things cos 2x cosine 2x plus 2 pi by 3 plus cosine 2x minus 2 pi by 3 what I did taking just 2 outside 1 by 2 I mean 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 and remaining terms as it is here so now you must have noticed here 3 as it is we keep cos 2x as it is and we use c plus c for this what is c plus c 2cc so I'm using that twice cosine this plus this by 2 remember so when you do this plus this 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 will get cancelled 2x plus 2x it is 4x into cosine by 2 this minus this when you do minus 2x 2x will get cancelled 2 pi by 3 minus 2 pi by 3 which is 4 pi by 3 this minus this so this plus this remember so here 1 by 2 as it is plus 3 as it is cos 2x as it is twice cosine this by this which is 2x into what is this 2 2 will get cancelled cos 2 pi by 3 now cos 2 pi by 3 you know that it's a standard value you can find it very easily this is very standard value cos 2 pi by 3 how will you find it you know it we did number of things now pi minus pi by 3 second quadrant cos negative so this is minus cos pi by 3 why second quadrant pi minus something in the second quadrant cos negative cos pi by 3 you know 1 by 2 so value of cos 2 pi by 3 is minus 1 by 2 you just place there immediately you will get the RHS 3 plus cosine 2x as it is twice cos 2x as it is here minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 so 2 2 will get cancelled this minus and this minus so you will get finally uh, cos 2x and this minus will come out here so minus cos 2x so this will get cancelled finally you are getting 3 by 2 which is right inside that is your RHS Twenty seven example find the value of 10 pi by 8 even you can find sine pi by 8 cosine pi by 8 and so on
and from there even you can get the 10 pi by 8 remember what is pi by 8 you know it's 22 and half degree which is pi by 8 so here we we use you know the double of pi by 8 is pi by 4 so we use double angle formula as we did in those last three examples so like sine square x formula which is 1 minus cosine 2x the whole by 2 cos square x double angle formula 1 plus cos 2x whole by 2 and tan square x is just the ratio of these two that is 1 minus cos 2x upon 1 plus cos 2x so i'll use this here you can use this two for sine x by 2 cos x by 2 so tan square instead of x you have pi by 8 equals to 1 minus cosine double of x here double of pi by 8 which is pi by 4 upon 1 plus cosine pi by 4 right pi by 8 double of this twice pi by 8 which is pi by 4 so put the values this is 1 by root 2 here 1 minus 1 by root 2 upon 1 plus 1 upon root 2 take LCM so we'll get the root 2 minus 1 upon root 2 plus 1 now normally we never keep irrational number in the denominator so multiplying and dividing with uh, conjugate of this so root 2 minus 1 upon root 2 minus 1 you know this rationalization so what's the denominator a plus b a minus b which is 2 minus 1 a square minus b square and this is root 2 minus 1 the whole square this is 10 square pi by 8 and therefore what is 10 pi by 8 just take the square root this is 1 and here this will get cancelled so root 2 minus 1 Remember, pi by 8 is in first quadrant. Pi by 8 is in first quadrant. So it will be positive only because normally if you take square root, you must have plus or minus. But here it is just positive. 